saying hey Aliopa. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't really speak Swedish. Um anyway, hi, how are you people? Um I hope you are doing good in the midst of um the world pandemic. But today, since it's quite a nice day today, I am going to take you walk around Trollhättan a little bit, the city that I am currently living in. So it's gonna be fun and um, yeah. So, <laughs> a little bit about me, if this is the first time you're clicking on my channel, I am Karin, I'm Indonesian, but currently living in Sweden. Um, I live in Trollhättan now. It's a small town near Gothenburg, Sweden's second biggest city, I guess. I'm gonna show you what I like about it, because um, it's really nice here and it's very quiet. I mean, not very quiet, but like, it's kind of quiet, it's calming too, and uh, I'm going to show you one area that I really like. By the way, don't let the sunlight fool you. I mean, it's not hot at all. It says that it's 18 degrees, but I feel like it's more like 15 or maybe 14, uh, maybe 15. So yeah, I'm still wearing some jacket and uh, there, it's the Innovatum, and if you go there, that side, that's where the Saab Museum is, if you don't know. Uh, Saab, the um, car brand, uh, came from Sweden, but then it was bought by an American company, but then now they just stopped uh, producing. I don't know if it's American or Chinese, but um, yeah, so Saab originates from this town. I saw more people riding the bicycles today, maybe because it's nice and it's not cold, you know? But of course, I'm too shy to record them passing by because um, I'm even feeling a little bit like shy is recording this video and trying not to um, draw attention as much as possible because, I don't know, Swedes are reserved and they're quiet. So I, I don't really want to be seen awkward or weird so if there are sweets watching this video let me know in the comment box down below if um if it's weird for you to see people flogging outside but i mean i got to show the world your beautiful country i guess This is, I don't know what's the name of this river, but I'm pretty sure this river connects to the sea. So it's like, yeah, it goes there and it goes that way as well. So it's, it's, an, it's a nice and calm place. And a lot of people actually um, use this as a jogging track or just like, you know, walk with their dog. It's really nice. It's really, really nice here actually. I quite like it. And there's, I think there's a church there near that place. And um, during the day, usually you can hear the bells. And um, if you go on the other side, there is a, uh, a man-made waterfall where during the summer, um, they usually have like a festival for it, which is quite good. So um, yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> okay. If you're Swedes and you're watching this, is this a good background? I mean, hopefully it is. If you're Swedish Sweden, if you're watching this, please let me know. In a scale of one to 10, how weird is it to vlog outside in public in Sweden? I feel weird doing it. I try not to, I try to do it in like quiet places. Like now, see nobody's walking around, but um, I try to blend in, so. Um, yeah, but, but it's, it's one of my, my most favorite area in Trollhättan. Uh, 
Okay, for Indonesians watching this, don't freak out. <laughs> it is this quiet usually. Um, well, maybe in in smaller cities in Indonesia it's quiet too. But I come from the capital city Jakarta, and it's uh, it's pretty hectic. And this is the nearby store, Coop, that we like to go to. This is a smaller version of it though, but it's quite all right. I buy my Starbucks here. One of the nicest things here is that there are a lot of playgrounds, like outdoor free access playground for kids to play in. I mean, I guess it's free access, right? I mean, there's a kindergarten there, but I think this is, anyone can play here. There's also one near our place and yeah. Oh, by the way, it's like almost 8 p.m. so that's another thing that I love about summer in Sweden is that it's so bright even during the night like the sun comes down late and it's always nice to have the sun here because during the winter you don't really get them perfect commercial this is like my favorite like cookie how do you say it is it cookie they make like a cinnamon one so good. I think sweets call it canelbuler. Canelbuler? Yeah, but until one more, please. It's so good. This is another big road near my place. So, as you can see, not crowded at all, right? Not at all. And honestly, it's nice because um, not a lot of people, a lot of nature. You see lots of like greeneries, there's a river nearby and behind my building, there's like a forest. So it's really nice. Like my dad who loves to bike would love it here. And um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a nice, quiet town. Not too quiet, but just enough. And I still feel awkward filming in public, honestly. I'm so <laughs> worried that I will be judged by Swedes around me, but I guess I'll take one for the team, right? Now, this is a secret passage to my building. Earlier, I came out from that side, so. This is the other side of the entrance, I guess, but it's just for people who walk and people who ride bicycles. So there's two buildings. This is building one, this is building two. I mean, I don't know which number is which, but um, yeah. So I took you to a little walk around the town a little bit. Um, I'm still trying to catch my breath. I literally need to do more workouts. But um, yeah, that's a part of Trollhättan and um, it's a nice quiet town. It's very nature-ish, you know, like, is that even a word? But like, it's very, very green. And um, yeah, I kind of like it here. There are a lot of downsides, as in like, there are a lot of things that they don't have because me used to live in like big cities, but this is a this is a change for that and uh it's quite nice it's calm and um yeah so thank you for watching and don't forget to browse my videos about um, scholarship living in sweden or a relationship and um oh don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel um yeah i'll see you in my next video bye